Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a brand new documentary where we have discovered a new national wonder. There's a lot of creatures out there that we thought to exist, like Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, and the Catch Me Outside Girl. All fictitious characters created by man's storytellings to spook the young children into not going out into the woods. But we have actual live evidence of a brand new creature. A creature we speculate to be one that has been written about many years ago. And of course, we're talking about the Star of David. Hello, everybody. It's me, Hobo Ryan. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing today? Are you doing good? How are you? I'm an angel and I'm pissed off. This amazing feat right here proves without a doubt that of all the biblical characters, the one that is for sure real is the Star of David. Sadly, all of the viewers watching the stream have all burned to death and died. We send our hopes and prayers to the families of all that disintegrated. But it was not for loss. For now, we know for fact that there is such thing as the Megacus Whiticus. Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another reaction to Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, one of, if not my favorite reaction I have done in a long time or ever. And today, folks, we're checking out episode five, Transport. I can only imagine this is going to be that episode where all the Muppets cram themselves into a car like a clown car and start singing songs. If that doesn't happen, I'm going to riot. Of course, folks, like check out the original link, more for Rachel Condiker. Link me in description. I'm the one who had a dream where there was stuff like there was another me and everything was lots of fun and I went and saw the other ones and there was a little lumpy one and another windy middle one and there were things that they had around that I knew what they were but I don't know now and then it went away <laughs> I wonder if that's a reference. Like he said, there is two of them. But listen, Yellow Guy, that was that wasn't your gimmick, brother. That's Duck Guy's gimmick. He's the one who saw a mimic of himself and I cut his head off like Shovel Knight. But I actually have no idea if that's just him trying to describe a scary ass dream, which by the way, if it is, you've done a great job, or if that's a reference to the older episodes, but I'm gonna be honest, I got thrown away by the lumpy one. I was just thinking, lumpy one? Lumpy one? Lumpy space princess? Was he in Adventure Time? I've gotta scour all the episodes of Adventure Time to find out if Yellow Guy was in it all along. Hey, Doug Guy. Can you see the sins in my heart? Mm. Hey, that's from the Oh, one dead fly. What? What did you say? Where the hell is he? Where is he? Where is he? Because all I see right now, deep in them eyes, is nothing more than a pesky be minus actor because that's not the original actor he would have said pesky b come on guys come on man what are you it's not gonna I, i'm seeing spots i may have got a little too intense <laughs> whoa one fridge magnet what are you doing making sure everything's here i'm doing my visual inventory don't worry bud i've been doing that too because that's my job hence why you know, it's that little thing are you my new Ooh, friend? Another dead fly. Wow. <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> that gets me every time when he says that. This wow. Probably wow. definitely the best day of my life. Oh, God. <laughs> one tile? Guys. <laughs> one tile? Wait, <laughs> on. One 
time. Listen, he believes in individualism, all right? Just put it down as one floor. I have my own <laughs> system. Don't get involved. Hey, could I please have a touch on the, of the clipboard? No. Well, I say put the clipboard in the bin, because I hate the clipboard. <laughs> <laughs> I said... I hate the clipboard and I hate this place. <laughs> said that. You don't mean that. He doesn't mean that. But this is our where we are. Yeah. Well, I'd like to go somewhere else. Huh? Again? Well, it is that episode. It is episode five. What? Hello. <laughs> where do you want to go? No. I, want I to like his little feet. I want to get out of this place. Well, that's not allowed. I mean, all we do is, is sit around and. Then Dude, why are they extra tiny? They keep. <laughs> vegetables or something. Uh, what the earth are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, don't you want to see something else, something different. No, we have vegetables. Last time, vegetables, uh, the fridge man came in. Oh, wait, he's a steak. Oh, shit. What have you done? You made God fall over again. Or fake God. Just in case. It's Christmas soon, after all. Choo -choo coming through. Oh, right. This kind of thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. One of these guys. Oh, jeez. I have no idea why that made me laugh so hard. It's just the fact that they're so numb to all the stupid things that happen. He's like, oh, one of these things is happening. Oh, well, all right. We're doing it again. Also, Time Guy got messed up. Holy smokes, someone call a doctor for that boy. He's not doing okay. He's got a little bit of Todd in the eye going. What's this, a toy person? Ow. <laughs> Go around. Just rude. Did somebody say <laughs> transport? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this Power Rangers looking ass? I don't think so. <gasps> he said he hates this place. And he hates the clipboard, and he hates I wonder hates if that's... Me. He looks like a character oh, no, from the, 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 the cancelled thing. I was just saying maybe we could do with a ch change of scenery, you know. Well, you have to speak up a bit. Here, you have to speak into my good ear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any ears. <laughs> I relate to this. I know <laughs> old people that are exactly like that. that. I'm a train. <laughs> no. Coffee went in my nose! Ah! I am a sucker for slapstick, so if he just gets whacked, I'm gonna almost die every time. Also, I'm gonna bring up the fact about this new character. One, train track feats, fantastic. That is a great touch. I love that artistic design. Two, once again, what the show is like a master of, eyeballs. You can see like the lines, he looks insane. Man, like, I swear, every single episode, this guy, the worm had his eye moment. Todney and uh, Lindsay Lohan, eyeballs of the devil. They, they are masters. They get that uh, eyes are truly the scariest thing. We take a trip. Yay. Yeah? Okay, great. Where are we going? I just need to have a quick drink. <laughs> oh, no, man. <laughs> Oh, the good stuff. Ah, I see. You've been working on the railroad too, buddy. It's my very special, very warm drink. You're leaking quite a lot onto the floor. No, I'm not. It doesn't matter. Oh, can I have some? Helps in my condition. Your condition. I relate, bud. Listen, sometimes I dribble. There's coffee all over the ground. Three tickets, please. There's some no. shit on the floor. We have enough goo. Yeah. That means it's official. Does this mean we can actually go? Tickets, please. Thank you. Thank you. What's this stuff on it? You did that. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> All aboard! Yeah. You can take a few steps with your legs. But hey! You won't get very far. Ho! <laughs> I don't like how your hands are like trying to tickle me. Wow, how did we get here? <laughs> Every time! Wow. So once upon a time they found a wheel and they put it all together as a vehicle. And there was a horse with a man on the top. And then there was a man with the wicker wheel. Hey, look, wicker. Oh, wow, wicker. <laughs> 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 Stop! 
I'm saying wow. Literally, yellow guy can say wow to anything, and I'm gonna laugh. So nobody put like the plane hitting the and go wow. I'm gonna laugh, and then I'm gonna go jail. Hey, speaking of jail, Adolf Red guy. Just when I think they've done all the different art styles, they they pull this off. Like it's the uh, what's it called? This. And it fits so well. They know all the different art styles for kids shows. Where are they going? Speaking to my good Where are they going? You gonna be all right, man? Please don't die now. We're underwater. Why, why is there a stop sign? Uh, nothing. Just a rock. Not chance. You don't want it? I can have it. What are you gonna do with a rock? That's my business. <laughs> He's, gonna kill. He's gonna kill Stan. He needs revenge. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, maybe we could have a sit down. No, Ooh. Don't sit down. Ooh. Ooh, a little yeah. floppy there, brother. Just keep going. He's he's fine. This episode is gonna teach us how to deal with grandpa dying. My grandpa also leaked black oil all over the floor before when he went to the old great beyond. I say, Grandpappy, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't look in the bottom drawer. That's where I keep my sin. <laughs> I say, Grandpappy, you're so silly. I've already looked. And I'm the one who poisoned you. That's for Uncle Jerry. And we all had a real fun laugh afterwards. I made myself sad because I love my grandpa. <laughs> but I had to do it for the sake of comedy. Well, I know why I have a grandpa I never met. What's to say that with him? Mm, well, he's dead. <laughs> no, he's, no, he's not. He's fine. Look, come on, Mr. Transport. Come so on. that's that one. Didn't understand any of it. But still, <laughs> like, oh, oh, my dude, God, Duck Guy. You are my spirit animal for school. They try to teach me in songs like, I don't know what happened. I don't really give a shit. Well, well, no. I mean, what are you talking about? We didn't even go anywhere. Let's get out of this disgusting. And I always sat next to Yellow Guy. Wow. World War One was great. We should do some transport of our own. Why? Because it'll be fun, you know? Maybe we'll see something else. Another rock? Yeah, maybe. Or we can only hope. Maybe something better. No, no, come on, no. No, no. We don't have the transport, man. It's just us three. We can't just do stuff, us three, can we? <laughs> I think that's what the show's about, bud. I mean, how hard can it be? I like his beep beep Look. button. See? Lesson number 40. Reverse parallel parking on an incline. Firstly, no. you'll need to... How about this one? Green's Lesson a good one. Number 92. Green's a creative color. the road. Handbrake turns no. around tight corners at high speed are a great way to impress what? new colleagues no. and intimidate them. <sighs> Where's lesson one? Too creative. Oh, well. yeah. You gave it your best shot. Ah, what about this one? Lesson number one. Yes, here we go. First things first. Okay. And this is very important. Yeah. Before you even set foot in a vehicle, mm -hmm. you'll need to pick out a name for your personalized license plate. What? Anything at all except DJ Bimbags with the I is a one, the G is a six, and S is a Z. Because that's what I'm thinking you're oh, getting. <laughs> oh, it's useless. I told you, you shouldn't try and do something uh. without a little thing telling you how to do it. Hey. Green is for go. Whoa! They had a snake assassinate button? <laughs> Wait, did you realize to press the go button? <laughs> hey, and here we are. Good thing our house was connected to the road. We were in the middle of the road? Oh, whatever. Hey, you know, for a dead car, this thing drives like a butte. This guy is rewinding. <laughs> Sky is rewinding. Stop Valid it. point. Be still. No, no, it's supposed to do that. It means we're going somewhere. I think I prefer the kind of transport where you're indoors. Also, you never noticed this before. Moving. Also, you were outside well, before. Just wait till we get there. Get where? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know canonically if you have or not. I don't know. Anywhere. 
There's plenty of places we can go. Just look at all these roads in this confusing dungeon. Oh, hey there! You look a little lost. Perhaps I can Are you a parasite? Get you home, shall we? In 300 meters, make a U-turn. Bemo? Somewhere new. Cool. <laughs> Where are you thinking? Just type in your destination. I don't know. What about just oh. just down here? You're not oh, Bemo's voice sorry, actor. I don't trust you. What, what happened to it? Just shriveled up, I reckon. Well, where can we go? Can't you suggest somewhere? You can go home. No, somewhere else. Somewhere How about new. Shelford Parkway? It has a fungus museum and a new prison. Wow. <laughs> wow. A prison. West and famous for its dead horse. We've already seen it. It's a good dead horse. Look, we're not going home. We're going it's got a lot of pesky bees, bees on it. What about Chick Chick Chick? You should just go home. You meant to the fact that. he didn't it's even fine. fucking yeah, throw the thing, he just went. Yeah. I'm not sure about this. We don't usually find our own way anywhere. Exactly. This is great. We're going somewhere new for a change. Just look around. For the you first here. time, exciting. freedom. We're not I mean, kidnapped by dying children. Or... Excited I'm getting. All right. The clock's even well, here? Well, it's better than whatever we'd be doing at home, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose. It's hard to argue with that. Oh! Oh, what? That's fantastic. Also, I like how the clock told him because, of course, he's the time wizard. I think he was the time wizard. I don't remember what he said, but he had space alcohol, so that was pretty radical. Oh, oh, no. Oh, it wasn't like that a second ago. It's better than touching his face. Man, he's got elbow strength like nobody's business. It's Play with the shapes in the cupboard that burns. You might as well, he's already dead. Some posters to customize my area. <laughs> it looks pretty good to me. That's a swan, bud. A Don't trust him. He's just a fake duck. Because we can get to know each other. Such comfortable seats. I might have a seat. And I found this guy in the road. Huh? No. No, get him out. Get him out. <laughs> 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 He <laughs> fucking grabbed him by the throat where beep <laughs> and threw him out the window. <laughs> I was literally just about to say, hey guys, look, it's Roy. It's Roy. You can see us have teeth because he was eating people and he's on the street now because he did a crime. <laughs> Later, nerd. Oh man! They also they picked the, the name Leslie. I'm pretty sure that's one of the creators. By the way, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think what I think the female one was named Leslie making the show, but I I could be wrong about that. <laughs> oh shit! There's always one joke that just beats me up. Oh my gosh! Oh two, by the way. Space alcohol, beating the heck out of Hobo Roy, which probably is like my character. I think that was a message to me. They knew I was coming. They knew I was coming. They wanted me out of the scene. This is going to be an episode that doesn't get unbanned. <laughs> Just you wait. Just you wait. This is going to be an episode that doesn't get unbanned. <laughs> Just you wait. Just you wait. Called it. Going forward with such good company. And we're oh, shit. <laughs> It'll be all right. Come on, use the legs. He literally fell to his death and my camera died. <laughs> I'm bored. What? How are you bored? Yeah. We're just sitting here. It's like being back at home. No. Louder. And you could get more rocks, man. Well, what about your visual inventory? You've got your travel clipboard with you, haven't you? Just look out the window. Why? There's not much to look at. It's just tree cloud. 
Tree cloud. Rock. Oh, rock. See, there you <laughs> go. I can <laughs> my window. When I look out through it, it looks back in through me. Maybe I should have a turn being in Why is it so much well dressed? No, no, no. You, you stay back there. It looks like Todd and the yellow guy. I don't like that Some one. Entertainment. Ooh, a curtain. <laughs> no, look. Ah. Wow. There's a lot of them. There's so many. I stopped myself from laughing. Because them watching porn and hey, him saying hey, wow, that's too much. Jab less hard. No, you have to jab it hard or it won't respect your choices. <laughs> <laughs> that's such an old guy thing. <laughs> oh. You need to scroll sideways. You need to scroll sideways so you can explore the sub themes too. Don't tell me how to scroll. I had a dollar for every time I've known old people to do that. I would have enough to go on retirement. Please don't, please, please, some water. please don't, please don't take your clothes off. I think this is my water. You should have bought your own water. You're not having any of guy. my water, Hovris. Is this a joke? Is this just jabbing at Wallace and Gromit? Now, we better get going if we're going to Come on, Wally. You're out of control. Give him some of the juice. <laughs> Nothing funnier than the Doug guy than gum disease because he's a duck. He doesn't have any gums. Stupid human. Trying to watch. Grolton is the dog. No, Grolton is the man, and Hoffris is the dog. Oh yeah, this is a Wallace and Gromit joke. Health toilet. Raisins. You gotta give him credit. This dead car is fucking advanced. Huh. Wouldn't raisins kill a duck? Oh. Here's some research, Ryan. Duck fact. In fact, raisins might even be healthy for the duck because they contain potassium and iron, as well as other nutrients that help with growth and egg production. For these reasons, it's perfectly safe for ducks to eat raisins. Don't worry, when we get to our new place, we'll have our own headphones. And as many raisins as we want. <laughs> Will we? Yeah, and we'll each have our own house with our own huh? stuff. <laughs> it doesn't come so alive. we're not going to live together? Well, we won't need to. We'll be part of something called a community. Mm. <gasps> oh, is that a reference to Wakey Wakey? Is this we're going to connect? Is the next season going to be forward. like... We're going to live oh. outside? No, those people don't live outside. They'll be our neighbors. <laughs> We're not the oh, Amish. Yeah, as far as I know, That's the one that looked back at you. That was Amish, old guy. Don't trust house, them. Uh, near your house. Oh. And they bring you food when you run out. And sometimes you go from your house to their house and tell them what you like about them. And they tell you what they like about you. Ah, oh, morning. Here in Mulhoven, Newtown. Just ask anyone lucky enough to live here, and they'll tell you there's no better place to wake up. From the bustling marketplace to the peaceful... Once overpass, again, another children's art style that they haven't everyone. done before. Look, they have really Mrs. studied Grimm the different Morgan types of old children's shop. cartoons and stuff. <laughs> what a lot of hoovers. And there goes off nah, the lady, I hear that place sucks. To station, no, doubt. no crimes to report today, officer. Good. Hello. <laughs> what? Are you? Oh no! Are you wearing a potato sack? Let's get you settled. I don't think they'll treat you right. You are a yellow kid, oh, which I'm pretty sure is like jaundice. A brand new home of your own. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> wow, fancy. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Here comes one of your neighbors now. I see you're already well acquainted. His hair Hello. looks a lot better Next in this universe. Are your other neighbors? And you'll get to know them all in Ooh. good time, won't you? Oh, how nice. 
They'd like to welcome you with a gift. What could it be? All right. What what could the priests honestly give you? Oh, it's a rat. <laughs> it's a kind of worthless animal. Valid point. Most birds are just flying rats. Also, I know this is random and has nothing to do with this episode, but it just kind of hit me that Todney and Lindsay Lohan had T and L on their chest, and the only one to have it also on their chest is Yellow Guy. He has a D on his chest. That really makes me wonder. Like, he has that on his chest, and Roy's dad kills him. Is Todney and Larry Sweeney, are they like his cousins? Are they related somehow? Because it's very weird that they all have like their a letter on their chest. And the only one, like I said, the only one that's had it is him. Unless it's a kid thing. But it's very weird. It really is weird. I'm starting to wonder if Yellow Guy was related to that family. I mean, obviously, they don't look at all the same other than their perfectly round heads. Like the scientists from the Muppets. Careful. Don't hit come by. Don't get hit by a car. Don't hit. Oh! Oh! Nothing. It's fine. You just, you just need some of its food, I think. He got you, you Holy shit! What? Look, why don't you just have another nap, okay? We'll, we'll be there soon. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. I scream. Yes. Well, the car's turned to a zombie. Rolton made his appointment. Well, obviously he will. He always does. What do you mean? Grolton always makes his appointment, and no matter what happens, they start the next episode back at home. Well, don't spoil it. I'm not spoiling it. What? Hold on. What was he? Who's Grolton? Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the land of living, buddy. You just had a little snooze. Look, it's that pathetic vehicle person. Where are we? Hi, yeah. Yeah, we're just we're, we're just doing some transport like you showed us. Remember? Uh, actually, do you think you could uh, you could make that noise stop? And turn my screen back on. And get us to our neighbours. I'm not supposed to be out this far. I get dizzy, but I'm out this far. Oh. I a special drink. Um, I think someone might have drunk it all. Oh, let's just turn back. <laughs> no. I was really waiting for the joke to be, I think someone drank it all, and Duck Guy literally just covered in black goo. Like, I have no idea who would have done this. <laughs> I really thought that was going to be the joke. Just leaking from his mouth, completely covered. I have no idea who could have done such a thing. Look, we'll make you some more. How hard can it be? What's in it? It is forged far beneath the earth with the last remnants of the ancient ones. What did you say? Raisins? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> raisins, yeah, raisins. Yeah, <laughs> but that's his own raisin. Oh, it's like making a man eat his own shit. Come on, guys. We're in a car. We're driving so fast. Oh! Oh! Hey, that came to handy. He did! He ate it! Look at his mouth! Yellow guy! We're so close to what? I thought it was Duck Guy. It wasn't. I'm not going back into that house. There has to be something, anything. Guys, what? there's something out there. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell are we looking at? What is this? What the hell? Is this real footage? Is this, what the hell? They in a, 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 a dump truck? Dumpster? Whatever the trash zone? The, 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 the trash landing site? The doo doo zone? I don't remember your eyes being like that. I've never actually seen a side view of you. You're kind of like a slug, huh? Also, what? That's impressive that you got that to do that, by the way. I bet you that took 74 shots to get that thing to roll like that. That's why it took so long. Dude, what is going on? Dude, look at all these square rocks! We've hit the jackpot, duck man! I don't trust these square rocks. 
Wow, a dead raccoon. If he hit me with a wow right there, I would have PP'd. Oh no, he's dead. But that's like the worst thing to light on fire. There's no way a rubber tire would be that flammable. The Mimi Flesh? Is this where we live now? <laughs> where are the neighbors in the community? Brothers! Yeah, you live with me now! Somebody will, somebody will turn up. <laughs> Finally, my episode where I get to be the character! One rock, <laughs> one stick, one skull. One unknown terrifying object. <laughs> That's a possum. One bag of meat. You're welcome. One fire. <laughs> Journeys made and lessons learned. You may feel like you're a lone skull, but no matter how much the wheels turn, huh? the journey always ends up back at home. Moo, 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 says a cow. Choo, 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 says a oh, I really, I really blew the twerking joke because this is real twerking music right here. Choo, 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 says a train. Choo, 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 All right, one, one little squirt. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And the last bit is just them dicking around. Also, you guys are hobos. There's four of us. There's four of us. You can't stop me from being a part of the show. There's four of us. Yes, four of us. I will keep you hostage until you make me an official part of the team. Otherwise, I'll be fuming. And other British words that I don't know because I'm just the American in the British show, okay? Poggers. That's an American word. If any Brits say it, beat them. It's not your word. It's our words. Like, dab and woke up. Oh, boy, that's a... You can have that one. What do you got? Bangers and mash? That sounds like a TV show and a porno. Ha! 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 There's four of us. What in the heck just happened at the end? I have literally no idea. I have no idea what's going on, but it's the good kind of not knowing. This isn't like the, oh, this is a lot of random stuff and it all doesn't make sense. This is the kind of, oh, I am very intrigued for the last episode. This has got me super hyped for episode six. This is very fascinating. What happened? What did Yellow Guy see? What is he quoting? What is he connecting it to? Oh my gosh, I am excited for the last episode. How did they end up in a trash zone? Yes, I don't know what it is called. A landfill. For God's sakes, there it is. All right. Good job. Wow, he did it. It's also fascinating to see that they're almost like, they were like in a simulation. They were in this area where they kept on driving and everything was going, it was like freaking out. What did yellow guys see? What the hell was going on? Are they in some sort of simulation? It would explain why they're stuck doing the same things over and over again. And it does lead credence to them being trapped doing the show. Even he said something about the show. Ryan, if you could replay it or give reactions to in future, wait, Ryan, you could just, do that right now. Oh, he's talking about the dog and the guy Grolton. They always start back at the home. I think that's a joke towards them. I was, I thought Grolton was the overlord. <laughs> overlord Roy Grolton is his full name. It is not. It had nothing to do with it. Also, his lips look like a uh, oil taco. And now I'm hungry. Surprisingly, you would think, oh, Ryan, that's oil. That's gross. But tacos are cool. Wow, tacos. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm never going to stop saying it. I can't stop. Wow. Stop. I, can't. I, I know I'm not even doing it right, but in my head, it's exactly like Yellow Guy. Oh, Yellow Guy. One line. That's all it took was for me to fall in love with Yellow Guy. Just wow. It's the way he says it. 
It's like, it's the perfect, like, impressed and not impressed at the same time. I don't know how he's doing it, but holy freaking smokes. That, uh, that ending, everything about it, oh, that's the good stuff. Oh, that's the good stuff. That's the kind of stuff that makes me excited to dig in it. Oh, I love this feeling. I love this feeling. This is the part where I feel like we're getting answers and a lot more questions that will more like uh, reveal the story of what's going on here. I still think it's going with the TV show element. I think they're trapped in a show. They're trapped somewhere. They're trapped in some sort of hell, some sort of simulation. When they get out, it's a freaking landfill. Why a landfill? Is it going to a point where shows get stopped and thus once it's stopped it goes into the landfill with all the others i have absolutely no idea maybe their house is trapped in a landfill that's where they're being captured or something i literally have no freaking idea what did he see i'm gonna be honest with you guys with this one future ryan is gonna rewatch this episode because like i feel like there's a lot of stuff small stuff i could easily miss like, I'm, I'm, I noticed when they're going under a bridge, there was something written on the bridge I wanted to check out. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot. I want to get all the dialogue. I want to get all the information on this one. See if I get any discoveries. What in the heck is going on here, huh? I caught you taking opinions from an absolute normal... Conspiracy! Hi, I'm a classic Hobo Ryan character named Conspiracy Jones. I was once in a series called Gravity Falls or Owl House. I don't actually remember where this character originated or if his name was uh, Conspiracy Jones. Ryan Jones, by the way. And I would like to say Sandy Hook was not fake. So, boys, I went back in the archives, and I found every single little nook and cranny I could possibly find so that I could officially get down to the bottom of this. What's going on? I have not only answers, I have definitive ones. Hey, mister, what is your portfolio of why you're good at this? <laughs> Listen, kid. Do you have a demo disc of Prince of Tennis that only has, like, one episode on it? I don't think so. So, yeah, I went back and watched the entire episode. Here's some things I found out. In the Three of Us song, I noticed that when they all say, you and me, it's three of us. Yes, three of us. I just realized that Red Guy points at himself when he says, you. Instead of pointing at you. Does that mean that technically, canonically, in the series, we're Red Guy? I don't know if I want to be Red Guy in this one, because he, he did get a... He did rock an Adolf stash, so... <laughs> Listen, I swear, I've got a, I've actually got some legitimate theories here, folks. All right, don't, don't... Please don't click off, please, for the love of God. This is all I've got. This is the only series I watched. Nobody watched Avatar. Nobody watched Owl House. This is the new... Okay? Please don't leave. I'll tell you one thing that freaked me the heck out. Rewatching the fly scene? I don't know if that was a real fly or a fake fly. I have a theory, by the way, about if it's a real fly or fake fly. See, the thing is, if it's a fake fly, it works in the universe. But if he's a real fly, here's the interesting little tidbit about that. It means it connects to the end of the episode. The difference between the dump and their universe is everything in their universe is puppified. They're made of puppets. If the fly is real, that means it actually is the fly that came in from the dumps that they got to at the end. But I'm not sure. If not, how the hell did they create a puppet fly? I'm going to be fully honest with you. This, the conspiracy was his fly puppet. And then saying it made me realize the connection to the end of the episode. That was off the cuff, folks. That's kind of great content you get from the Hobo Ryan content. This is me saying V for victory. Mother. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. What the hell is under here? Oh, secrets. That's what's under here. You thought you could pull some fast ones on me, didn't you, duck man? Mm, oh, my dick. Oh, that bit was not worth it. Oh. Oh, it hit the head. No. God. Oh. Ow. <coughs> <coughs> oh. 
Anyway, so the conspiracy. I hate to do this because this is one of my my actual like legitimate finds, but I'm I'm not getting up. So when Duck Guy was uh was pointing at some thingy jigs like uh one tile, one tile, I uh, uh I read the clipboard, and on the clipboard it had two things that he didn't say that I thought was interesting. One said Jason. Uh, which, to be honest with you, I have absolutely no idea what that could be implying. Maybe Red Guy's name is Jason. He kind of looks like a Jason. Um, or it's the creator of the uh, show, and he's actually looking at the creator himself, who's off camera, and he counted him on the list, which would be pretty funny, but I didn't look up that information. Just like all good conspiracy theorists. Uh, the other one says, uh, this one actually intrigues me the most. It says, One Stain. I have no idea if that is a reference to Stain, the Blob character that replaced Duck Guy, and the one was himself, like, confirming that Duck Guy is Stain because it says on his clipboard, or it's just a Stain. Actually, I'm not really sure where the name Stain came from, by the way. People just kind of uh, called the Blob Guy Stain. I don't know if they called him Stain. He says his name is Stain. I'm not really sure, but there it is. There it's on the clipboard. Are you impressed now? Okay, I'm going to get up now. I uh, teared up so much that I got uh, perspiration on my sunglasses and I can't see. You know what else was a big old blur? The uh, the cave pictures. It really was just, it was just caveman pictures. There really wasn't anything of interest uh, in that uh, little thing that I found. So the one lead I had was boring as shit. Maybe there's something connected. Maybe it's saying that they've been going on for so long that the team has actually been doing this since caveman days. Stuck in an infinite loop of not never-ending time. I mean, come on. Look at the time guy, all right? Of course he's going to make him do it forever. Now, the interesting one of them all, and the one I think everybody was talking about when they said this episode was filled with secrets and, like, lore, there is a line when he's about to take a turn... And the GPS says to Red Guy, Come on, sorry, that place doesn't exist anymore. Oh. That was fascinating. Not only that, the town that they're going to is based on a real town in London. So they're actually going to a real place in the world. So they're actually trying to get into the real world, which is where they end at, at the very end of the episode, in the dumps. Not only that, but also... Through the episode, when they're underwater, you see that there's stop signs and all sorts of stuff that's underwater. Which really leads to kind of an apocalyptic idea. Of course, the train guy could easily be discounted because the train guy is actually a simulation. Like, you see them still in the house. I think they're literally just sitting in the house and it's like showing a screen. Of course, it was all simulation anyways. Because, like, when it ends, you can see it's like green screen and it's glitching out. But I thought that was really fascinating. Really Really interesting. Oh, shit. Was the bird also real? Or was that a puppet bird? Because if so, that means that was a bird from the real world as well. Don't tell anyone. And I'm hiding behind the Christmas tree. Because I've still got more. That's right. You thought that was it? No. I found two more things. Also, did you laugh at that joke I just did? (laughs) <laughs> that's the new brand of humor that I'm making called uh, please feel pity for me and laugh I think it's going alright I'm pretty sure in this episode of Walton and Horace he's watching the third episode of the web series isn't it nice to finally be outside Horace isn't it nice to finally be outside replace the water with chicken wings Walton and Horace is them from the web series or not <laughs> Roy Duck did it. Okay, I'm going to go ascend now. So usually this is the part where I talk about the moral of the story, but I don't think there is. I don't think this is trying to say something necessarily, but connect it to the last episode. It's more of the mystery feel than trying to say something. Uh, Other than they just want to be free from the continuing hell that they continue to live in. And also, maybe you should stay at home because sometimes it's a party alien that shows up. That's what I learned. I learned that staying at home sometimes really pays off. Sometimes you get Todney and Louie Anderson. And sometimes you get freaking party 
the alien man with his drink. Look, 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 look. Also, don't run your grandpa dead. That's another thing. Don't kill your elders. I mean, there's not much I can talk about other than the fact that there's some jokes that made me almost want to die again. Throwing fake Roy out the window was one of the funniest things ever. Because I thought it was going to be like, it's me, your dad, and I'm going to s say something and scare you. But instead, he popped him and knocked his ass out the window. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I think they did that knowing we would think that's Roy. And thus, we would think, like, it was serious. So, the karate chop to our expectations made it so much more funny. Oh, my gosh. I love this episode. Oh, I love it. But here we go. I'm going to try to make a moral out of this. In journeys to get to the future, it is different for everybody. You have people that are like Duck Guy who have an easy, nice uh, nice ride with his headphones and a, a comfortable ride, watches television show with no problems. And then you have people, on the other hand, who are going through the future and it is nothing more than dirty cigarettes and a mouth toilet. Everybody's going to the future. All, everybody. We can't stop it. But everyone's journey is completely different. Hence why all three of them are going. You have Red Guy who's driving forward, moving forward, has to keep going to the future and wants to escape and get to a, a future that is beautiful to him, a new community. Duck Guy, he's just chillaxing. It's just happening. He's fine. Whatever happens, happens. He's going to enjoy it. And he's got no care on his back. Yellow Guy, on the other hand, is filled with anxiety and no sees nothing but scary incidents instances even death of a bird right in front of him that was supposed to be a gift from the outside to him i think that's what they're trying to say there we go i did it ah, i think i found something i don't know it sounds right to me i think this is talking about the future traveling moving forward I don't know. <laughs> what matters is this episode was one beautiful. The art style once again coming up with so many different art styles to make it never, ever, ever, ever feel bland. It has found every single type of kids cartoon style. 3D, weird claymation, the one with the like dolls. I don't know what those are called, but it was very prominent in um the uh, british style of of uh animation kind of like uh, thomas the tank engine's little f figures but different um everything <laughs> they've done everything it is impressive it is impressive and it's a unique art style that does not get seen very often so it's very nice to the eyes my heart has told me it's time to read your comments nah, i'm just kidding guys it's a ah, flashlight oh god it's so bright I don't know when you'll be reading this, but the secrets really start to pick up in episode five. I really want to see you try to guess how the show will end having only watched the first five episodes. If I have to take a guess, it has to do something that connects to the last episode of the first series. Because this episode's just like how Red Guy zip-zopped out of there, got out of the house. Um, someone's gonna unplug something. That's the ending. <laughs> At some point, someone's going to go, that's it. And then the day is going to flip. Uh, that's going to be my big one. At some point, that day is going to flip. I imagine Roy's going to show up again. He's going to slide in the frame like last time. Hey, thanks for the chicken, son. I appreciate it. And then it goes, doo -doo 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 that's the credits rolling. One thing I found very interesting about Duck, I'm sorry, I know it's weird, but not saying duck guy and saying just duck it, it threw me completely off my I was, I was like sparks coming out and blood leaking from my nose about duck's character is that over the series there is a very strong theme of him either having a lot of admiration for the military or being an actual veteran himself like where he was on the plane in the death episode. And that's why I find his comment about forging documents leading to so many deaths in this episode even funnier. Because those could possibly be repressed memories from him being in the military. Or maybe this could be an, a reference to something else that I'm completely missing. Either way... It's been a very long running theme in the show overall with even a photo of Duck in the Time episode from the web series looking like he's in a military uniform. That I didn't know. I honest to God on this one have no idea if the military thing is solely a joke 
or if there there's like gonna be a twist or there's secrets behind it i really have no idea i'm thinking either he's going like you said gonna be in the military admiration or he's a crazy person who thinks he's been in the military and does a bunch of military things as if he thinks he's done it before the fun thing about this episode is that the worm is the only teacher in the entire dog me i'm scared universe that was ignored by them most of the time those three fellows obey the teachers by fear or curiosity or were forced without stopping them but with him they don't care and even interrupt his song and start harassing him making him cry too a thing that that was never seen the only time that they tried to stop a teacher was when rg in episode four of the youtube series told the computer to shut up and it ending with the computer screaming and glitching the whole thing forcing them to continue his lesson I thought it was an interesting and funny detail about how the worm is just a parasite that can't even make people listen to his song by how he is annoying. It makes it infinitely funnier that nobody listened to Warren. Because that means Warren is so shit at his job and being a friend that he's under Todney. Todney was better than Warren. <laughs> I'd rather listen to fucking Todney. 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 Never forget Todney and L Little Yachty. They trusted the coffin that came. Hey, guys. That guy was more trustworthy than Warren, the shitty friend. My God, he was that annoying. That is impressive. That's impressive. That's impressive. It's always lovely to rewatch this series through reactions, honestly. And I really love the way you do it, putting your own personal touch on it. It makes it all more fun. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so, no, right? Don't, don't fucking, don't do that to Ice Flower live on camera, you sick freak. Also felt like pointing out that I think it's really interesting in the diagnosis the computer took from Yellow Guy, there seemed to be an energy symbol connected with a wire in his head. I always wondered what was the deal with that. Now this is something I did not notice and I think is very fascinating. Not only did they plug it in, which could easily be just a joke because that's kind of what they do. This is the this is the hard part about picking out what is like symbolism or like a secret or trying to figure out and them just fucking around, right? They will, they, you know these boys love their good old gags. But I brought this comment up because if you look when he goes into his ear, there's loose wires sticking out. It's starting to make me wonder if they're going to go some weird angle where Yellow Guy's actually a robot or something. Robot, android, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Yellow Guy's dead and Roy had to make a new son and his new son's the new Yellow Guy. That's why he's even dumber and he's having a hard time remembering because he put him back together after he went boo -boo 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 under the goo. Oh my god. Is the black goo the stuff he drowned in in the bedroom? Oh, I had a brain blast. I had a Jimmy Neutron. Have they been drinking the same stuff Yellow Guy's been drowning in this whole single time? Is that why Yellow Guy really wanted to drink it after a while? He was like fascinated with the black goo. Is this related or is this just a prop? I don't know, but it's freaking freaking me out, man. The fact this episode is almost anonymously agreed to be the weakest of the new episodes by the fandom is a testament to the quality of the show. Warren is such an incredible, well-written character, probably my favorite of the new teachers in terms of being unsettling. Todney. <laughs> It also has some incredible quotes like, Thanks to you, I'm a figure of ridicule within the market community. And fetch me my gouging tools. This is the best episode for comedy in my opinion. Not the best overall though. I in fact nowhere close. Which is insane because it's so good. So this is the real talk about this episode. There's a lot of people that really did not enjoy this episode. Which if you ask me, might be a sign that they're bad friends. 
<laughs> Sadly, I think at least one or two people over the hundreds of thousands probably are at Warren, and that's why they didn't like this episode. Like, hey, wait a minute. I do all those things. I don't like this episode. I also identify as an eagle. That was the other thing. I thought this episode was going to be hated because they identified as an eagle and everyone made fun of him. I thought there was going to be somebody who's going to, like, connect too many lines. Like, <gasps> he doesn't like that. And it was going to be a woke thing. But I was wrong. As an American, this happens a lot. You just end up, well, you'll wake up one Christmas morning and you're just like, mm, what's going on here? Oh, an entire article talking about how Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is a racist atrocity and how we should take it down because it's going to ruin our children. And then it goes away the next day. No one ever talks about it because that's the life I have to live in America. <gasps> but, but it is crazy to think this is the least favorite episode out of the bunch. In my opinion, this is not the least favorite. I disagree with saying by a large margin that this is the worst episode. In my opinion, episode three is up here, right? Episode three is number one. I enjoyed number two. Number two, comedy wise, was my favorite. The, just the jokes hit me really hard and I loved it. Uh, all the banter between Duck Guy. It's really just my love for Duck Guy, really. So number three, that. And I think this might be my next favorite. To be fully honest with you, I think this is number three for me. I think I like the Warren episode more than the episode you just watched, episode five, and especially episode one. In my opinion, episode one is the weakest one. Maybe that's because it's the oldest and it's like not as fresh in my mind. But I love the topic and the story it's told about toxic friendship. I think that is a very interesting topic. Way more interesting than all the other ones. Like, I think it is a not only a fascinating topic, but a really, really important one. Because I think people can see that they can be a warrant. I think all of us once in a while become a warrant. We get so self-indulgent, we don't even see the problems that we're holding. Half of the marriages that die is because people are being warrants. That may be an over exaggeration because warrants a horrible abomination that literally is a worm that would stick into you. He's a he's a, a parasite essentially. But most good relationships die because someone's so self indulgent and no one ever actually worries about them. It's a give and take with everything, friendship, marriage, all of it. And uh, any person that can find that oh shit maybe I'm being a warrant uh, and change a little bit is a good thing. I've noticed other than the briefcase from the first episode, the mentor have gotten killed off. The coffin was accidentally killed by yellow guy's shovel. Roy, of course, killed the family. And in this episode, the worm gets stabbed by duck guy. Makes me think the main three might not be the only ones who are stuck in the show and are just as much trapped as they are. This one legitimately made me start thinking, wait a minute. They are the only ones that weren't killed. Of course, I don't know what the teacher is or if there's a teacher in the next one. But it really made me start thinking after reading this comment. Why was the briefcase the only one that didn't die? Is there? Are they trying to say something here with the briefcase? Is the briefcase more important than we think seeing he's the only one that wasn't killed? I don't know. But I found this comment so fascinating, I had to talk about it. Because it, it is interesting that every single character is dead except the first briefcase. All the others failed and were selfish. <gasps> oh my god, they were. He's the only one that didn't fail. Coffin guy failed because he got annoyed with the duck guy, so he was killed. Todney's family did all of the teaching just to have selfish gain and get something, so Roy killed them. Warren was literally the embodiment of selfishness. And the train guy was pretty selfish in himself. Didn't really just want, like, got in there like, ah, I guess I'll do it. And they killed him. All of them are selfish, except the briefcase, who was the only pure teacher in the entire thing. That's really interesting. <laughs> and this comment is my favorite comment that uh, truly made me laugh and is probably the greatest compliment I have ever gotten on a series. And I've been getting a lot of bangers of comments. Really, my self-esteem's been up here thanks to you fine people. But this one may take the cake. So happy to see you back. Even though you look like my ex-boyfriend I broke up with, you're still so gosh darn entertaining. That is the greatest compliment I could ever get. So this is one I want to bring up because I thought it was really interesting and it might be a, my bad on this one too, just like porny. Magic Mad Science wrote, maybe it's how I heard it, but I heard you 
aren't completely insane. Try not to worry, you aren't completely insane. So it keeps the same reassuring and heartwarming tone until Duck Guy's line plus the fight. Though I think the way you heard it is effing hilarious with them suddenly singing you're completely insane. So I watched this back and I think you're completely right. I think I did mishear it and it is still heartwarming. And I'm just, the, the, there's something about the British accent and the accents. A lot of times I will miss little tiny sounds, just little tiny sounds that completely changes the joke. At the end, you mentioned you don't want this series to end, but it's always a little sad to me when creators are railroaded into making the same thing over and over again, long after they lost their creative interest, just because their demand. While The Simpsons is a poster child for this, a better example might be Rick and Morty. I forgot if it was Dan Harmon or Justin Roiland, but one of them expressed a long time ago that they felt trapped by the series because they had a lot of ideas they wanted to explore, but the r and uh, Rick and Morty demand was so strong they couldn't walk away. While I'm sure they tried to integrate some of those ideas or spin them off into something like Solar Opposites, I'm sure they couldn't work on some of those ideas and that spark of creativity within them just died a little. And we'll only have so much time for our favorite creators to pursue their art before they perish or lose interest, so it's sad to think we'll never get to see those other ideas just because the masses demand blood. So Joseph's 100% right about this. This happens to creators all the time. My counter argument though, <laughs> that's a lot more episodes. Even if you add the web series, technically if you put all the web series together, that's gonna add up to one episode. So really they've only created seven episodes of this series. And I don't want it to come off like I want Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared to be like the creators of Rick and Morty where they're, they're not happy with it anymore. I'm just saying six episodes is not enough. It's not enough. Come on, man. You can't say that that they get burnt out after six episodes, half an American season. I think I'm in fair game to say I want more, please, please. Also, I, do, I have heard absolutely nothing about the creators being burnt out by a series. If they are, fair enough. Well, I'll, I'll be okay with that. But I love this universe so much and the creativity that it holds that uh, I really hope that it at least gets six more episodes. I'm going to be honest. I'm an American. Six episodes, Britain? Stop it. Stop it. Give more episodes. What is with your... So, so yeah, I just feel like they have way more to give with how little they've made so far. There's so many more avenues or creative ideas. I think it's fair to ask for a little more than less than 10 episodes. Also with this comment, I'm not really sure if he has any inside information about them feeling not happy with doing the series or if they're kind of projecting other people's feelings on the series because to be honest, they might still enjoy doing it. Just because the creators of Rick and Morty are burnt out on it and the creators of Simpsons, which technically is new people all the time, new writers, so it's, that's why it's so different. I don't think it's fair to just assume that they're burnt out after making six episodes. Also, between you and me, the craze of Rick and Morty, Dan Harmon, is literally never happy ever, so. <laughs> but, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have to end this by uh, talking about the important comments. I have to make a strong argument for green Sour Patch Kids. My favorite Sour Patch Kid is actually the yellow one. The best Sour Patch is Blue Raspberry. I like the yellow Sour Patch Kids best. Also, orange is good. Best Sour Patch Kid is, I don't know, they all taste the same to me. My favorite Sour Patch Kid is green. Very rich mine. I hate Sour Patch Kids. I disagree. <laughs> That's it. Bye. But anyways, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Embrace yourselves, folks. One more episode where we get answers and we're going to find out what truly is going on here. Where I will make my final uh, theory 
And also, after that, we will watch any theories that are popular because I think they're fascinating. I'm really curious to hear everybody's ideas. But anyways, folks, if you enjoyed, remember to subscribe, leave a like down below, and write a comment, folks. Remember, I am reading your comments at the end of the video. So if you want me to read your comment or if you have an interesting point to put up or some little thing in the background I may have missed because there's probably a lot for this one, uh, I will certainly read it. And it will be the last one um, because, you know, the next one uh, I will be uh, sent to the Shadow Realm. I'm, by the way, though, that being said, if the ending is really, really interesting, I will make an extra, like, mini episode of reading your comments for the last episode because there's nothing left to put at the end of. So, anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.